In this video, we're going to have a chat about marking tools and just a few of the marking tools that I use. Marking tools that I use to mark out seam allowances or positions of buttonholes and all different types of fabric. You've got many marking tools available. I'd say, first of all, whichever kind of tool that you're going to use, whether it's chalk, water erasable, pencils, heat erasable, air erasable, always do a little patch test on the same uh, fabric that you're actually going to use for your project and just make sure that the pen isn't going to mark your fabric and that it is going to erase without leaving any kind of mark behind it. So once you've done all of that, these are the choices that you have and again these are just some of the tools that I use. Generally when you're looking at pens, so let's take the pencils and the chalk out of the way, a purple one is air erasable and the blue ones are water erasable. So with an air erasable pen, depending on your manufacturer and the thickness of the pen and how much ink you're going to use from the pen, um, these will naturally disappear between four days, eight days, sometimes within a few hours. But just leave them exposed to the air and the air will eventually dry them away. Have a look on your manufacturer's instructions or on your packaging and it'll give you an indication of how long the ink's going to stay there for. What I wouldn't recommend if you're using um, an air erasable pen is if you're doing something like smocking where you need all of the grid and the measurements and the markings to be there until you finish your project, if the project's going to take a long time you could be risking the air erasable ink actually disappearing before you've finished. So maybe water erasable would be better for you. But basically, try out on your fabric first. You can mark the position of where you're going to sew or where you need to sew to and from or your seam allowances if you're measuring those and then wait or with some pens like this one on the opposite end you actually have an eraser so you can literally rub away those ink marks There you go, you get the idea. You can of course have pens without the eraser on the end and that works in exactly the same way. And do look out for thick or fine nibs. So the one that I was just using with the eraser on the end has a very fine nib. This one has a thicker nib. So again, you either wait or you can actually buy an eraser pen. And these work with both the air and the water erasable ink. And again, you just put it on the top and like a magic trick, your ink disappears. Again, do yourself a patch test first. A lot of your markings are going to be within seam allowance, so it's not too important. But if that's the position of some applique or a stitch line or free motion embroidery on the top of your fabric, you're going to want to make sure that that does actually disappear. So there's the air erasable. We've also got water erasable pens. And just in the same way, you can, let's do this on white, you can draw your very fine line, as is in this case. You can spray, you can dampen, you can wipe with a damp cloth, or you can use your eraser pen to take those away. Or, of course, if this is something that you're going to put in the washing machine, then the ink will disappear when it's laundered. Or again, this is a fine nib pen, exactly the same, but this time the eraser's on the end of it. Do be aware that with heat or water erasable ink, if you iron them, they can become permanent. So that's another thing that you can test out when you do your test patch before you actually start sewing. So those are air and water erasable. These two pencils, and again, they come in lots of different colours. You can get a white one, grey ones. Um, these are a, a water-soluble pencil. So working in the same way as the ink, but this time you have a pencil. So draw on your lines as they need to be. And when you wet them or wash them, the lines are going to disappear. And the pencils are nice to use on particularly darker fabric because the paler colours mean that they really do stand out. So you can really see the lines. So when you're working on white fabric, black fabric, or any of the colors of the rainbow in between, you should be able to find a marking tool that really stands out against your fabric. 
chalk wheels are a great idea and this is something that's used very often um, with both dressmakers and quilters. In the end here is a little wheel. You can just see the teeth of the wheel there and you can hear them spin around. And these deliver the chalk that's inside the pen here through the wheel and it actually gives you a very accurate, very fine straight line. which again either washes or brushes away. You've got lots of different colours to choose from again. So no matter what the colour of your fabric, you're going to be able to find a marker that matches. And these are great for going around curves. So again for seam allowances in dressmaking, absolutely perfect. You can see how much chalk is inside them and the wheel end actually unscrews here so that you can refill them when you need to. So that's going to be very cost effective for you too. The final markers that I want to show you are actually transfer markers. So these are really good if you're going to be um, free motion embroidering or you've got a favourite design that you want to trace and then repeat that onto your fabric. So I don't have a design to trace, I'm just going to draw straight onto my tracing paper. But say I've traced through the shape of a little heart. And then maybe another little heart, I've got two different colours. Now these are going to go face down over your fabric and then you iron and you'll probably find that you can get several little shapes out of this one uh, drawing before you have to even put any more pen, uh, pencil markings onto your tracing paper. So I've got a hot little iron here, I'm just lifting that up just to make sure that the ink is transferring. I'm going to take the tracing paper away, there's my design. So now I can sew over the top of it if that's what I'm doing. Because I'm using tracing paper I can see where my previous design's been and I can carry on using that same drawn area time and time again until the pencil marks start to rub out. Do be aware though, and again follow your manufacturer's instructions, that these lines are permanent. I can just go back over that one a little bit because I didn't leave the iron on quite long enough on the side here. But again, because I'm using tracing paper, I can see through and I can see exactly where I'm going with it. There we go. Let's have another red one here. So you can be drawing around the outline of favourite photographs, of shapes, maybe of letters. Do be aware that if you're tracing over letters um, you will have a, a reverse image. So just make sure that you're tracing them the wrong way around, so to speak. There we go. So I hope that's helped you out a little bit by explaining just some of the marking tools that are available on the market. I know there are Oh, lots and lots of different brands and we've got lots and lots of different types but as I said previously there will be a marking pen out there for you which will clearly mark onto your fabric and then wash away or disappear when you finish marking it. It's just a case of having a play with them on your scrap fabrics and seeing which one's the best for you.